What's up everyone? I have a small one victory for you today. The history behind this build is actually very interesting. There used to exist a unit called the Great One in the custom packs, which is a stronger version of the small one and it was actually so broken that it got removed from the custom pool and made only into a token pet accessible via the bad dog. So now instead of this great one we actually have the small one in the custom spool which is basically a strictly worse version of the great one. It has a worse starting stat line, it has a weaker snipe damage ability, but I think it's still very competitive and uh, it is super fun to play around with as we will show off today. So my plan for today is to combine it with the tapir. Tapir is a pet that actually got changed in the most recent update. It used to summon a unit from your team at level 1, 2 or 3 respectively on faint, but now they made it so that it's a start of battle summon pet. So very similar to the macaque from golden pack. Uh, I think it's worse generally, but I think it still has its application as we will once again see later on into the run. And uh, yeah, I think it's overall going to be super fun. Early game, I think we're going to be focusing mainly on summons because this kind of team will uh, be very successful to pivot off of a summon build. We get to retain a lot of the tempo as the uh, taper is a summon pet. Uh, I think I also have another summon pet in mind that I want to combine with the small one and the taper, which we'll see later on in the video. For now though, we are utilizing the power of the spiders. Spider, honestly speaking, probably the most broken pet in custom packs. In turtle pack it's acceptable the way its ability works, but when you can uh, basically make your custom pack exactly the way you want it to, the spider is almost guaranteed to give you a good summon upon fainting. So we are utilizing the power of that, we are generating some gold with it with a weasel, and then we get to claim the victory with it spitting out an anteater. Honestly super broken, you can take it well into the late game as I am sure I will show off later in this run. But for now, we're going to be setting up for turn 7. There are some tier 5 pets that I would be happy to see. We're mostly interested in tier 6 pets as Tapir and the small one are both tier 6, but uh, I think some tier 5 pets can set us up pretty nicely for success. So we do have a level up setup in the spider which we are going to take right here. And it is actually a bad dog. So very curious, this is the pet that spawns the great one and uh, I suppose if we want to get access to the small one we must first earn the favor of the great one. So we take the evil book. It's a great summon mechanic once again, it's a very heavy tempo play which is going to allow us to get wins while setting up for the late game, picking up a platypus as well which will allow us to sell out of it at a profit later on. And we actually get a level 2 crawl for turn 9 with double avocado at that, so extremely powerful setup. And by the way here we will see the power of the great one wiping the entire enemy team and then finishing off the toad right there. So super powerful. Unfortunately the small one is not as great, but uh, as opposed to the great one, I suppose you do get to keep it for the entirety of the game instead of just getting it via a toy. So I think it will be very good for us to have eventually. Here hopefully we get to continue winning. We get a level 2 anteater which ends up not mattering at all as the great one sweeps once again. The toy breaks so that means we are now vulnerable once again but it's completely fine. We get an alpaca on level up which is going to be good. It's going to help us level up a lot of our stuff. We want a lot of pets at level 3 for the end game of this build. For now we're going to get a level 2 platypus which will result in the small one. As soon as the great one fades we get the small one, kind of ironic, so we get to level it up immediately with the power of the better chocolate. We could pick up a behemoth but at this point I just want to heavily grade, like find all the levels that I can on this turn and the next turn. And uh, if that is not possible maybe we get to set up for turn uh, 11 where we can start heavily rolling for tapir. 
Here by the way you can see the other pet that I am interested in trying out with this build, that being the Beluga Whale. The small one of course only works when you summon it and when you bring it into the team actually does count as a summon so you saw it a little bit damaging our team right there. We don't mind of course because all of these pets are going to be sold eventually. But if we want to make the small one get summoned I think one of the best ways to do it is via the Beluga Whale. So we're going to try to level it up if possible. We need another copy of the whale or a chocolate in the shop. We do get another bad dog so we can get both the great one and the small one into the same team. The family reunion is happening right now and I think we should be winning because of it. Or at least I hope so. We are still kind of weak but maybe this uh, great one does make the difference. Let's see. We hop into the battle right here. Relatively weak looking opponent, all they have is a big bison which is not going to be strong enough and we win. So that is great news, we have retained two hearts, not too many but I think it's going to be good enough for our purposes. Here we almost immediately find the tapir which of course we are going to get, we get to sell out of the platypus for a 6 gold profit which is absolutely perfect for us, we are going to take an immediate level up on the tapir. So Tapir always targets the backline pet, so we want to put the small one in the back. And uh, I think because we found yet another small one in the shop that is extremely lucky because we get to put it into the Beluga right here. So now we have up to three small one activations, one from the Tapir, one from the small one, one from the Beluga whale. So we get to see the combo at full efficiency basically. And you see it wiping up the team again and again until we win, super funny sight to behold. The great one is no longer with us as the toy is breaking but I believe at this point the small one is big enough for it to survive on its own. So we're going to try to level it up to level 3. Uh, I think for now our priority should be the tapir level up and the small one level up. Like if we get those two I think we're chilling. Like small one in all honesty does not need to be level but I did really want to have the ribbon so we are going to bum rush towards the level 3. Tapir is super important because levels on the tapir also influence the stats of the small one that gets to spawn at the beginning of the fight. Here we get to easily win once again. Basically we really want to go up against summon teams and that is because we get to do a lot of small damage snipes which are the bane of the summon teams. We get to wipe them over and over again so they cannot keep resummoning themselves which is absolutely ideal for us. We're going to focus on getting the tapir level now as the small one is up to level 3. One chocolate away, I think we should be able to get it soon. This is a scary looking fight initially but uh, when we get sniping we actually succeed relatively easily once again. So we're dominating right now, we're at 9 wins already. And I think I commit a little bit of a misplay right here. So I wanted the beluga whale up to level 3 as well so I take this chocolate cake. But I forget that of course when you give it food it swallows a pet in the shop. And uh, that means we get to lose the small one inside of it. So I guess in typical Lovecraftian horror style we get to sacrifice something to the old gods but uh, fear not as I think we should be getting the small one back inside of the beluga pretty soon. For now we are losing once again, not even close this time unfortunately, they do have a lot of stats so we can't really compete. But now that we have the small one back it should be all easy from here. So we put it inside of the beluga, we have level 3 small one, level 3 tapir. If we were a little bit smarter about leveling up we could have had level 3 uh, beluga whale as well in the fight. Unfortunately we have to rely on the chocolate cake. But I think this is going to be the final round. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did I really hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I will talk to you next time. Take care.